Well, we got to take those chances for rain when they come. Today we had a chance, just a lot of areas didn't get that rain. We had that wave of storms that poured south out of Nebraska into Kansas. It did clip southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas. In fact, the outflow boundary from that complex managed to push east across the area, generating additional showers and thunderstorms across parts of southern Missouri and northern Arkansas. So looking at that, looking at where the rain fell, you can see some locations did get some soaking rains. Joplin, a half an inch of rain. Fayetteville, a half an inch of rain. Third of an inch in Harrison and a quarter of an inch in Mountain Home. Here in Springfield, just enough rain out there to maybe wet the pavement. That was about it. But areas to our north and east didn't see anything. Most areas, though, did benefit from cloud cover. In fact, that cloud cover plus the rain-cooled air mass associated with that cluster of storms that moved through the area helped to hold temperatures down this afternoon. After a string of days where we made it in the low 90s, we didn't make it to 90 today. We had highs in the mid to upper 80s around the Springfield area, but you could see where it was drier and sunnier once again back in the low 90s this afternoon. Conditions are quiet across the region. It's going to stay that way for the most part overnight tonight and into Friday. One area to watch for some wet weather potential will be to our west, northeast Oklahoma and in northwest Arkansas. I think that there is a chance near this boundary that we're going to see in that area. There's a chance that we could see a few showers and thunderstorms try to fire up later tonight, maybe into the morning hours on Friday. That rain chance will stay south, though, I think, of a Joplin to Harrison line. Also, something else that's going to happen is as that boundary moves south across the area, somewhat drier air is going to be building in at the surface. That means a more comfortable start to the day on Friday, and it looks like all in all a fairly comfortable day, at least in regard to the humidity, across areas north and east of Springfield. So Versailles, southeast down across maybe Alton, looking good in terms of the humidity, but it's still going to be warm with highs up around 90 degrees. Areas to the southwest, we're going to hold on to the high humidity. We're also going to hold on to high temperatures with highs in the low to mid 90s. This is also an area where we could see an isolated shower thunderstorm again south of that Joplin to Harrison line. Looking ahead to Saturday, that frontal boundary will back up once again, and it looks like as we get into Friday night into Saturday morning, if you remember back to what happened last night into this morning, we had that big complex of storms that developed in Nebraska and then dropped south and southeast. Same scenario should unfold on Saturday. This time I think it may occur a bit further east. That would give us a better shot at seeing some much needed rainfall before we go into that long, hot and dry stretch. Our hour, by hour, hour forecast looking like this again for tonight. That shot at a few showers and thunderstorms off to the southwest. Tomorrow looks like a fairly bright day, expecting mainly sunny conditions north and east. There will likely be partly cloudy skies where we have higher moisture here over southwest Missouri and in northwest Arkansas, where there will also be that isolated shot at a shower or thunderstorm. Saturday morning through the morning hours into the early afternoon, you can see how the models are hinting at that possibility at, at a wave of thunderstorms moving across the area. I think once we get into the mid to late afternoon and evening time frame, those rain chances are going to nosedive as we're going to find warm, dry air upstairs, that cap building in, and that's going to stifle, I think, our rain chances. Overnight tonight, temperatures will drop to around 70 to the southwest, upper 60s northeast. Tomorrow, we'll see highs ranging from the low to mid 90 southwest to about 90 degrees to the northeast. Looking ahead to our weekend, looks like a half and half ordeal. Saturday, again, mostly cloudy skies, that better chance for storms, especially for the morning hours into the early afternoon. Sunday looks to be the day. If you've got some boating plans and you've got to choose between those two days, Sunday's your day. It's going to be mainly sunny. It's going to be hot with highs up near 90, and it looks like it's going to be dry. And next week, still looks like we're going to see that summer ridge develop into the area. In fact, it looks like as the week wears on, it's going to become more centered over our area and that will really generate rain chances which are going to be slim to none and it should also generate a very hot pattern. We're talking highs in the mid 90s on Monday and then upper 90s Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, probably through the end of the week and I think there is some potential. The only reason why I'm not just going to go ahead and pull the trigger and say we will hit 100 next week is there's some potential for some high cloudiness that may be just enough to keep us from getting to that mark but there is that possibility that we could hit 100 next week, and that'd be the first time since late August. Wow. It's going to uh, be late hot. August of 2014. It's going to be hot, but the humidity going to be a week, little lower. Next possibly? week, next week, it doesn't look like it's going to be overly humid. So we're not looking at high heat index values, but those air temperatures are going to be hot. All we're right. going to be very close to 100 either way, right? Right. <laughs> Turn that AC on, folks. If it's not already. All right.
All right, thanks, Jamie. Still to come for you tonight, the Supreme Court has ruled on two cases involving President